So we're unboxing the rail board. I've waited about nine months for this to be shipped. I'm in Canada and uh, this was shipped from Los Angeles. Really excited, this is the rail board. So we're gonna do the unboxing here and see uh, what we have. It, uh, it took quite a long time to come and coming through the mail, the delivery happened and uh, the delivery service was really great. So we're gonna take a look at what we have inside here. Lots of packing. And I opted to get the soft shell case for this, so let's see if we can get this out of here. Going through the bubble wrap here. Now I'm a guitar player, and I've never had a chance to play a rail board or tap and stick, but I remember seeing one for many years ago and it just seemed like it was a great challenge to take next on my plate. Going through all of the bubble wrap here, making sure I don't damage the case. So in the case here, soft shell case, it looks narrower than I thought it was going to be. Came with the free book. Free hands. Take a look at that. Put that to the side. Find the zip on the side here to open this up. Pretty exciting. And here's the black rail board. Wow, oh, it's lighter than I thought. Seems very, very solid. Just taking it out of the case, I see this. I see the straps already attached to it. I got the, the grand stick with the twelve string, strings on it. Very interesting. Pretty exciting. Feels really neat. It's very, very thin, just playing it. First, first impressions are very wide, but the uh, fretting from doing some tapping, doing electric guitar, seems really interesting. So I'm gonna have to go into the other room now, plug it in and see what, uh, what it sounds like. Okay, I plugged the XLR cables into my Bose system here, and I noticed that the cords are a little tight going in, but I think we've got them in there. Trying to get some sound on here. So, again, haven't read the book, just seen a couple of videos, but just the outset, just tapping right from the get go. The action is very nice, just touching, very lightly touch. The grand board has got a really wide neck. fingernails on your right hand. I find that you're hitting the uh, fretboard. Okay, so playing around with this for a few minutes, had to figure out, okay, the sound was good, but when you put it through an effects pedal, I have the, an older GT10 bus um, with some chorus and delay on going through 
the blue chord is the treble or the higher part of the strings and then the red chord is the bass notes and you get a little bit better sound now so I'm just just put some notes down like this stick after five minutes playing it. I've been a guitar player for 50 years and uh, this is just an amazing instrument so um, I'm gonna keep playing with it so talk to you soon. <laughs>